Good morning, Year 4. Here's the second session of this week's author's work. And it's going to start with the Talk Like an Expert game. So, going to invent some facts about aliens. You have to imagine that you are an expert on aliens and you are going to answer the interview questions below. So make up a fact for each question. So for example, where do aliens go on holiday? Now it suggests that you start with a generalizer, a word that can sum up most things. So I'm going to start my sentence about where aliens go on holiday with many. So I'm going to type many aliens go on holiday to planet Zarg. Pause the video while you have a go at the other questions. So what do aliens like to do to relax? How, I think that should say, how do aliens travel to work? And why do aliens live alone? And then, as a challenge, take one of your sentences and add on to that fact that you've made using the adverb additionally. So their example is, most aliens like cheese. Additionally, they also enjoy eating broccoli covered in marmite. Not sure I like the sound of that. So let's copy that. Down here, let's have a go at writing my sentence. Many aliens go on holiday to planet Zarg. Additionally, remembering the comma, they like to visit space station. 25 on the way. Oops, that didn't quite work. Let's put that over. There we go. Many aliens go on holiday to planet Zarg. Additionally, they like to visit Space Station 25 on the way. So I've given a bit more information to my sentence. So now pause the video while you have a go at doing that. Next task is to write a question to ask an alien using one of the words who, what, when, where and how. So what question would I ask an alien? My question is going to be when did you last visit planet Earth? and remembering to put question mark at the end. Now pause the video while you have a go at writing your question. The next challenge is create your own alien. So have a go at drawing one. How many eyes will you give it? How many legs? What colour? Will it have special powers? Draw some labels to show what it can do. And if you can take a photograph of your alien, remember that you can post it on our Padlet page so I can have a look at them. And perhaps I'll choose some to put on to the school Twitter page. On to the next section, Alien Headlines. Here's the beginning of a newspaper report about this particular alien. It's from the Farming News. Alien Antics. Last night... Local farmer Barry Bartlett, 46 years old, received the shock of his life when he discovered an alien spaceship landing in one of his wheat fields. And then you're being asked to predict, what did the alien do once they landed in the wheat field? So have a go at your prediction. What do you think an alien would be doing in a wheat field? Pause the video. Then the second part is, what does shock of his life 
mean? Have a think about it. If you need to, ask an adult if they can explain to you what shock of his life means and then write the definition at the bottom of the page. Now, headlines. A headline is a short, punchy sentence that sums up the newspaper story. Sometimes it uses rhyme, such as stranger danger, or alliteration. That's where all the words start with the same sound. For example, bear bites baddie. So imagine each picture below is part of a newspaper report. Have a go at creating a punchy headline for it. Try and use alliteration in at least one headline. I'm going to go with this one here. And for reasons that will become clear in a moment, my headline for this one is going to be Hercules hangs head first. So now you have a go. See what headlines you can come up with for these four pictures. When, who, what, why, where, openers. My favourite paragraph in the newspaper report is the first one. It's clever because it tells you the whole story without you having to read it all. It uses the five W's to do this. So if we look back at the opening paragraph for our story, last night, that's when, local farmer Barry Bartlett, that's who, 46 years old, received the shock of his life, that's the what, when he discovered an alien spaceship landing, why did he receive the shock of his life? In one of his wheat, shield, wheat fields, and that's where it happened. So now I want you to use the five W's to come up with a different opening paragraph. So you think about where the aliens found snooping around and what did they get up to. Make sure you use all five of those W's in your opening paragraph. There are usually quotes from witnesses in newspaper reports too. This is when you write down what people say about an event. Here's what Barry said about me in the newspaper. I never expected to see an alien in my field. It was the scariest moment of my life, Barry told the Farming News. Now when you use a quote, you have to use speech punctuation and you have to use it correctly. Use the toolkit below and write a quote to go with each of the pictures on page 11. Those were the pictures that you wrote the headlines for. And remember to use the speech toolkit. I had a go at two of them. First one is the man hanging upside down. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It was only when I hung upside down that I realised I couldn't get down, said Mr Hercules. So. I've opened the speech with inverted commas. I've written exactly what the person said to me. I've put in punctuation at the end, in this case an exclamation mark. I've closed with inverted commas and I've said who was speaking. And I've ended it with a full stop. The second one I've chosen was the picture of the boys with their showing off their socks. But this time I've started with who's speaking. So the eldest of the five brothers said, then there's a comma, opening speech marks. I told mum our trousers would shrink if she washed them at 60 degrees, but she wouldn't listen. Then the full stop, because that's the end of their piece of speech, and close the inverted commas. So you might like to try doing one of yours with the person who's speaking first. That's it for today's lesson. I shall do another one for session three and post that for tomorrow. I hope you enjoy doing this work and I'll see you all soon. Bye.